hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our POS system in PHP so guys in previous video we have seen how to display this billing format here and now let us write the code to print this exact bill okay so guys let's get back to our editor close all the file so first step we are on the order view print.php let's go order view print.php let me go first on the top so here is my main php and end php so add a div and make it separate let's end this here okay and tell here id equal to my billing area so my billing area and now guys just open div close div add a class here margin top 4 text hyphen end create a button one is for the print and second is for download PDF and now add a class button button danger px4 margin x1 and and now you need to add a event that is on click print my billing area function so same way you need to paste for the download pdf and mention here download pdf so now guys let us begin with this first option that is your print the billing area so let's copy this and get back to the js file so go inside your assets js and custom.js so this js file is already linked in our uh, header or footer file okay so you don't need to worry about that and now guys let's create a simple function here function the function name open and close curly brace where my div div contents equal to document dot get element by id function where the element id is my billing area let me copy that paste here and get all its inner html so we get all the data guys here and now let's tell uh, open a new window a equal to window dot open in the next tab so single quotes again single quotes a dot document dot write and I want to give a HTML open close then your title for that POS system in PHP this is my title let me copy and paste again remove this add a body and make a style equal to add a font hyphen family colon F-A-N-G, S-O-N-G, Fang Song, okay, semicolon, and now guys, a dot documents dot write function, where your div contents you have to paste in it, and now let's end the body, so forward slash end body, okay, and here you have to end the HTML, let's control X from here, and paste here okay and now you can copy and place and tell directly close function a dot print function just call the print value so now you are done guys I think we have given extra bracket here so let's copy this function name and you have to paste that that's it so now guys let's get back and refresh here let me change this button designs one is going to be like primary info get back refresh okay let's click on print it didn't work let me console okay refresh let's click on it it's not defined to editor okay so 
let me control X and paste outside of that document query okay so what is this actually here it's document ready function so inside outside that I'm pasting it and now let's try okay control shift R guys to clear the cache so if you click it might get come error for you like it is not found but make sure you are pressing control shift R to clear the cache and then click so I'll click here okay perfect so it has opened in a new tab guys and showing the printing format so this is how the format will be looking done guys now let us cancel this let me close this so we have seen the print option and now we'll see with the download PDF option okay so yep let's get back and here guys let's move this is my download PDF and inside this PDF function I'll be passing data so that we can create the PDF file name so let me go in and we have already shown that invoice number here where is on this page let's move below go inside the table body and here is our invoice number invoice number oops I have pasted the tracking number guys let's remove that and add a invoice number so now you can copy this complete echo and data row of invoice number and paste here let's paste it copy the function name create it so function the function name download PDF open and close curly brace and here you get the data that is invoice number and now let's write the where element HTML equal to document dot query selector function where I will select that my billing area let me copy that let's go on the top and hold the complete PHP dev let's copy this my billing area and paste here so now guys to download this PDF we'll be using a library called JS PDF okay so guys you need to get those plugins install in your project or directly you can use the CDN link so let me just show you so here I have just searched for JS PDF library CDN and here is the first link guys let me go there and this is the first link let's copy this with the script tag okay let's click here it is copied and now go to the footer includes footer.php at the last before the custom.js file I'll paste it okay so here I paste and same way we need to get the HTML canvas also so second thing you have to search for HTML to canvas link and now let's go here and this is the HTML to canvas just select with this first link copy that and paste here okay let me write a simple comment here like JS PDF CDN link copy and paste here this is the end and now guys you have used it now you can use that as a PDF so first step we are going to window.js PDF equal to window.js PDF dot JS PDF okay now worker doc PDF equal to new JS PDF object we have created now as a variable and now you can utilize this talk dot HTML function get the element comma open and close curly brace let me and here let me add a callback colon open function open and close curly brace give comma and x axis 15 y 15 and how much width you need 170 and window width width colon 650 okay and inside this callback function doc dot pdf dot save function and how we are going to save the invoice number let's copy that invoice number plus concatenate which means and tell that dot pdf file okay 
so if you want to know more something else about this guys you can just go to that js pdf library and here guys the main thing i just missed that so please note this so now let us get back and see the output let me refresh Control shift r guys to clear the cache and load it so here we click on download okay so inv is not defined what is the issue let's click on that and here is the inv we need to pass this in a single quote that's it guys and now if you refresh and let's click on download okay element is not defined where it's not defined here is the element it's not element guys it is element html you have to paste here so get back to the js file let's copy this paste here element html as simple now refresh go to console click on download okay still we get one more error it is telling that error unknown source type so the code is working and it is not getting in any data so it is telling that source what you are sending is not coming so what is that issue okay source getting we are getting in this element html right so here oops i have missed the hash over here okay so it's a query selector so i'm telling that go into my id and come as a billing area so why are we using this hash you can see that here in the id we are using it right so we need to paste that in the hash and then the billing id now let us get back refresh and download perfect it's got downloaded guys let me view it so here we view that awesome so guys we have successfully download the pdf using js pdf library okay so guys we have successfully done with the printing option and download pdf okay so now guys let's get back and if you want to add a print option inside this view you can just add a simple button here let me just show you let's go to order view.php get back to order view.php where is our order view.php order view.php and this is our main button here i mean back button copy and paste the same button add a info and tell print which redirects you on the orders view print print.php file that's it no changes now if you click here it goes to that print.php but we need to send the tracking id right so we did not send that so yep let's move and trsck track equal to echo close paste here that's it now if you refresh click on print so here you can print done guys and also you can use this print and download option while you are creating the order so let me just add you some product add and i want to check out so add the phone number let's proceed here oops cash payment proceed so here after saving it you can just add that print option okay so like when you click on save you get that pop-up in that pop-up you can add it so let me just add that and show you so this is my order summary.php let's move back to order summary.php so on the top of the page we have a model here okay so this is my print and download button so go to your order view and this is the functions let's copy this and paste that uh not here order summary so this is my print and you need to get the download pdf function let's copy order summary paste here that's it guys and now here you need to uh, change this let's move below we might have used somewhere in the session itself so here you see guys that invoice number is coming from the session so you can utilize directly copy this and move top 
and paste that. Session of invoice. That's it. So once this is click, it is going to search for that particular ID, guys. So make sure you are having this ID. Okay. So in my order summary, we have already coded that in previous video by assigning that we are going to print that complete div. So here is my ID and it will start printing. And if you want to add that print and download option button here as well with the save, you can just use that. Let me completely copy this, paste here. Let me break it down. Yep. So here you have to change the invoice format guys because it is coming from the session. You can just use that variable. So let's change this variable as invoice. Okay. That's it guys. Now you can just get back and we are on the order summary refresh. So here you find print and download. Let me make this warning. Refresh. Okay. So if you want, you can save print directly or download PDF. And if you click on save, okay, order placed. And here you find that PDF print and download. Let me click on print PDF. Perfect. So PDF option also done. And now if you click on download, here your PDF is downloaded also. So you can view that. Awesome guys. So I don't want anything. Now let's close it. Done. So guys, we have successfully done how to create a print option and also the download as PDF using JS PDF library. Okay. So guys, in this video, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.